Carcinogens, things that cause cancer, these are likely in your dog's food. Here are the top study ones you need to be aware of. Hello, welcome back to my channel. If you're new, welcome. I'm having a brand new webinar on dog health and nutrition with a specific focus on cancer. Learn what to feed, what not to feed, and top natural remedies that you can use to prevent and or treat if your dog ever gets cancer. You can click the link in the box below to sign up. Is there a link between diet, you know, what you're feeding your dog, and cancer? We've got this really large incidence of cancer in our dogs. You know, upwards of 50% of dogs over the age of 10, they're gonna develop cancer. And it kind of, you know, makes sense, stands to reason that diet plays a huge role. The Clean Label Project, those guys, there's their logo, an independent third party. They looked at over a thousand different pet foods, over 80 different brands. They're looking at dog and cat foods and they're being screened for heavy metals, toxins. What I like about this is it's a science-based study. They're looking for an array of different heavy metals, known food toxins, and you know, they're quantifying them, saying like, here's all these foods. Maybe the companies are claiming that they're healthy, that they're fine, but nobody's really testing for them. And if they are, they're not documenting the results. So you as a pet parent, are able to see these in a transparent fashion. In many of the dog foods, they found an array of different heavy metals and toxins. But even more concerning, I mean, every one of those has clear links to cancer. Number one, lead. Some of the pet food they tested, it had 16 times more lead than Flint River, Michigan's tainted water. If you, your dog, you consume enough lead, you have a much higher chance of getting cancer. Mercury, another very common heavy metal. You know, we've contaminated the environment, especially the ocean. Where does it like to concentrate in fish? You know, if you happen to be feeding fish to your dog, fish to your cat, they're likely getting up to you know, like a thousand times the safe amount of mercury. Excess mercury, especially in canned foods containing fish, they're also been linked to cancer. BPA, you know, that estrogen-like toxin, it leaches from plastic. It also leaches into pet food, especially canned food. Some of the pet foods they tested, it had almost a thousand percent more BPA than was found in a can of chicken soup. And there's like a clear correlation between excess amounts of BPA, how that affects hormone function, and clear links between the hormone-related cancers, you know, prostate cancer, breast cancer, etc. You've probably all heard about arsenic. It's another heavy metal. Many of us would know it as just some toxin. So happens that arsenic is a heavy metal. We contaminate the environment gets into the water, gets into the soil, can concentrate in some of the foods, AKA the same food that you're feeding your dog, and your dog could be getting crazy amounts of arsenic. Some of the Clean Label Project tests, they found almost 2,000% more arsenic in some of the pet foods than is in a cigarette. And it also has clear links to cancer. Toxin number five, potentially in your dog's food, cadmium. Cadmium is one of the lesser known toxic heavy metals but it's one of all the ones I've just discussed, you probably should be most aware of. It has more studies showing it to be a known carcinogen than any of the other toxins we just discussed. If you're exposed to enough cadmium, you will develop cancer. If your dog is exposed to enough cadmium, he or she is gonna develop cancer. In the Clean Label Project studies, they found that some pet food, it contained over 200% more cadmium to be found in cigarettes. So back to my first question, you know, is there a link between diet, you know, what you're feeding your dog and cancer? Crazy, unfortunately, yes, there is. It's probably more than I know. First, I didn't realize there are so many heavy metals concentrated within the food system and ultimately within our pet's food. I didn't realize there isn't a whole lot of testing going on. So there's no one to say like, yeah, we're gonna guarantee and analyze this food and say it's okay to feed your dog. Then third, I wasn't clearly aware of like some of the direct correlations between say the heavy metal cadmium and cancer. I mean, there are umpteen studies. I know probably the next question then is like, Dr. Jones, what do you advise I feed? Like, give me like a list of safe foods. My quick and easy answer, honestly, like you're probably better off not feeding this commercial stuff, you know? making your dog's food at home. Here's steak, it came from my brother. It's real meat or the happy cow raised in pasture. Like I know what's in this, right? So if I'm gonna base two of this food on an animal protein, one third carbohydrate, one third a healthy, you know, veggie, something like carrots, 
then I know I'm feeding her a good, clean, healthy food. That's ideal. But I know we're not all in a position to go ahead and make our dogs food for different reasons. And clearly there's got to be some better regulations. Like how can it be that you can have, you know, 2000% more arsenic in pet food than a cigarette? Like 200% more cadmium than a cigarette? Like 100% proven carcinogen? Hmm. Thanks for watching you guys. I know you're going to have more questions. I encourage you to sign up for my brand new webinar on dog health and nutrition with a specific focus on cancer, what to feed, what not to feed, my top natural remedies. You can click the link in the box below to sign up.